important is this is where we're actually training our spinal erectors, also known, you know, the extensor muscles of our back, and we want to round our back on this. So you need to get your doctor's clearance before you can do this. But the important thing when we get down on this machine, which is where we're going to be doing it, the pad is right about middle of your abs, so you have to bend over, and we're going to bend our back. You'll see me when I bend over, but then we're going to slowly roll up like that. So now I'm going to get on the machine and do it. This is a back extension machine. You can do it on a 45 degree back extension machine. You can also do it on a glued ham developer. This is just what I have. So again, hips are behind the pad. So the pad ends right in my abdomen. And then we're going to roll up to straight. And then when we go down, we're going to tuck our head first and roll the opposite way going down. So we're trying to roll from the bottom of the spine up to straight and then tuck the head and roll down the spine going down. So again just a couple more. You can just keep your arms crossed on your chest. It kind of looks like a whip. And head tucks If you've ever done roll-ups on the floor or crunches, it's kind of the opposite thing. So when you're ready to get off, just grab the handles, push yourself up, and stand up. That's a spinal extension or a back extension. So important positioning on this, we don't want the hips to move. So we want the hips behind the end of whatever pad you're using so that the spine has to bend so that we can roll up. Crucial positioning. We don't want our hips out here. That's for a different exercise. Hips are behind the edge of the pad.